In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly cover introducing an alpha channel into the Arnold render system. Here's the bird box texture. You can see the different panels. You recall this from our tutorial. And I've gone here and I've generated a black and white alpha channel with the black area representing a window that will probably be on this panel here. So if I was to just change the alpha channel transparency for a moment so you can see through it, you'll see now that where it is white, the imagery will maintain full opacity, and where it is black, there will be an opening in the box. So I'm going to bring the opacity of that channel back up to 100%. I'm going to save this as a JPEG, and I'm going to call it bird box underscore alpha. I'll hit save click OK. And now we're going to go into Maya and we'll introduce that and go through the process of accomplishing an alpha channel inside of Arnold. So I've selected my geometry and if I were to right click I could go to Material Attributes and I'll go to the Material Attributes and if I scroll down under the main node you'll see the term geometry and when you open that up you'll see opacity. And just as transparency was our alpha channel when we used the ray trace render, opacity will allow us to introduce that alpha channel we just made. I'll click on the checkerboard pattern, I'll go to File, and I'm going to do that one more time. Sometimes Maya just uh, doesn't want to do it. Okay, here we go. Click there. I'm going to go out to the alpha channel. I'll click on it and I'll hit open. And let's see what we got. All right, so oh, wrong alpha channel. In the texture node, I'm going to open up the tab that says geometry. And then next to the word opacity, I'll click on the checkerboard pattern. I'll go out to my folder and I'll choose that alpha channel I just generated with the JPEG. Now you'll see the box opening. Once I've introduced the alpha channel, I'll see it on the model itself in the viewport, but it will not appear immediately in the Arnold render view. What I need to do next is select the geometry itself and go to p-cube shape, that's the geometry, and you'll see a series of terms. I'm going to open up the Arnold, and I'm going to click off on opaque. Now when I go over and update the window by clicking on what might have been a red triangle to make it a red box, you'll see now the model renders that opening in the geometry. So I'll let that render a second, and you'll see inside the box.